guys have any questions before we uh, wrap it up and, and send you out into the city to get uh, deli food? Yes, sir. A question for you. I, I'm writing a book on uh, non Can I tell you something? You really look like you're writing a book. <laughs> if I was going to pick anybody, if I was going to look at anybody in the audience here tonight and be like, I bet you're writing a book. This is, uh, it's very odd because it's such a deja vu for me because I, I used to do this every day and now I've done it three times in the last six years. And, uh, <laughs> but it's still, it's still delightful to see your faces. Look at y'all, you're, you're clearly taking care of yourselves. You got uh, you, the pandemic, you, you look at, you're all alive and that's, you're gonna exhale probably in the, is that how we're doing this? Uh, do you have any questions? Before we get going, because I'd be happy to answer anything on your minds, because uh, I have time to kill. And I don't have as many friends as I used. Yes! I feel like since you left The Daily Show, things really went to shit. Do you the world, like with the world. It, it, I clearly saw I was holding it up. Yeah. Do you feel like you were missing out, or were you happy to be, like, stepped back from it? Missing out from the terms of... So I wanted to let you know that I'm still living in the world. <laughs> so I don't... I'm not really missing out. I, I live here, and so when things happen in the world, I also see them. So I, I didn't have a show at the time, but for instance, when, when Donald Trump became president, I, I was like, oh, like everyone else, I was like, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> so I still did experience a lot of the things that, that, that you did. It's not like during the pandemic, I just got to walk around. Like I, <laughs> I also have to, to stay in the house for a, lot of the, for a lot of the time. Did you develop any new interests or hobbies? New interests and hobbies, sir. Thank you for asking me that. I learned Portuguese. I also made that up. I did not learn Portuguese. Uh, I was trying to sound like I was been busy. Uh, I did take up the drums when I left The Daily Show because I'd always wanted to play music. Uh, but I'm not musical. I'm not talented with that. So I tried guitar for a little bit. Richie plays guitar and is very good at it, actually. But, but I am not. And it's, if I wanted to interact with music, and I asked the teacher, I said, be realistic with me. It'll be like three years before I can do like a mildly bad version of Blackbird on the guitar. And he's like, probably. So I took up drums because I can hit things. That's easy. <laughs> Turns out it's a little more complicated than that, but I've, I've loved it. And so that was another reason why the wife wanted me out of the house. Yes? What was it like shooting the nanny? The nanny! That was, gosh. That had to be like 1995 or six or something along those. You were what? Yeah, one. You were one. You know, uh, let me. Let me mention something very quickly to the audience. I am a human being. And I don't necessarily want to be your personal time capsule <laughs> that you would find under a statue in a park where you all get like, I'm we're just waiting for a man to come in and go, I saw you, I was seven, you. Uh, the, first of all, Fran Drescher, lovely. A lovely person. I did not know her outside of the character. She was lovely. But, and, and, and you may not know this, uh, b being younger and haven't seen my, my whole career, but acting is not my bag. <laughs> so uh, I always found those things really awkward and kind of hard, uh, but, but had fun. And back then, it was a great way to get your health insurance. <laughs>